I'm Carla Bush with the Minnesota Bankers Association. In this Minnesota Banking Minute, I had the opportunity, well, really the honor, to meet and to speak to Paul Wallen with Lake Region Bank in New London. Paul has had a banking career for an astonishing 60 years, and he still comes into the bank almost every day. Here's a sneak peek at our conversation. 60 years in the business, you're still coming every day. Why? The reason I come into the bank is because I'm a people person and I enjoy the customers. And uh, quite frankly, you have to get out of the house. <laughs> so even My with the pandemic is, and with branches closing, are you still coming into the office every day? I, I enjoy my customers and uh, I like to visit with them. And a lot of them still have questions. And, uh, you know, through the years, uh, uh, I'm a very confidential person. And they've told me a lot of things and it never goes any further. And of course, you learn that trust through the years. And uh, so I let them know that I'm still available if they need some questions or help or they got family situations whether it be financial or personal. And through the years, I've, uh, I've probably uh, found out more about families before, uh, before the minister does because uh, they needed somebody they could come and talk to. So there's a lot more to banking than just lending. And uh, if you're serving your community, you do it in many, many different ways. And that's so why I come into the bank. That's awesome. I love that. Um, and I imagine you're going to just keep coming in as long as as long as you want, right? Well, I'm fortunate. Uh, I'm fortunate my son lets me come in. You know, I, I learned a long time ago. When I, turn, I have a son that's very, very capable of running the bank or he wouldn't be here. Uh, I've seen in my career too many, too many sons, whether it be in the banking business or, the, or the, whatever the family business was, that have taken over and it just didn't work. But I've been very fortunate to have a son that, that uh, was able to step in and, and carry, the, carry the, the tradition on that I've created through the years with my family, I mean, I mean with my customers and particularly my employees. So that's an interesting question, Paul. What advice would you give a family-owned bank that's working through that kind of succession planning? What do you think made you successful in transitioning to your son? Well, first of all, he worked uh, as, a, you know, as a teller through high school and college. And uh, when he graduated from college, I said, no, you got to get out and face the world and see what it's like. And uh, he did, because I really didn't have an opening at the time. And I uh, couldn't afford to bring, bring him in because I didn't have a ring. And about what was it, four or five years later, I called him and I said, I've got an opening now in the bank. Do you have any interest in coming back? And uh, he said, well, I don't know. I'm kind of doing pretty well in my job that I have right now. But he called me back a week later and said, yeah, Dad, I think I'd like to move back, back, to, back to the home area. And uh, so I said, well, now when you come back to work, son, you're going to have to work 110% harder than any employee within the bank because of who you are. And uh, he said, yeah, I know that, Dad. So that's, that's, just, that's how he got back into the banking business. And then I, uh, then I went through extensive training. And when I felt that he was ready to take over, I said, well, it's your turn. And uh, my philosophy was that you can't have two bosses. So I, I laid back and, and uh, employees would come to me. And I said, well, you have to talk to Clark. And, uh, but if they ever came and wanted some advice, I said, this is only advice. You have to make the decision. And that's how, that's how the transition is created. And that's extremely important. You can't override, whether it be a manager of a department, you have to give them the reins to pull the wagon. That's really good advice, really good advice. So what advice would you give if I'm a young person and I'm just thinking about starting a career in banking? What advice would you give me? Well, first of all, you have, it's important that you're a people person. And you have to be a very good listener. And uh, you have to be willing to, to work 
pull in and extra work that's needed. Uh, don't plan on being an eight to five person. Because in this business, uh, you don't finish the job until, it, until it's completed. And uh, if you've got employees that do that, it kind of spreads within the organization and everybody works the same way. So you can't look at it just as a job. It's a career. You want to do the best you can. And you want to be able to take advantage of all the opportunities through the education. With technology today, it's tremendous. And I, my, I've, told my, I've told my son and his department heads, we've had long time employees. Over 85% of our people have been with us 25 years or more. Wow. Now we're coming to the point where they're retiring. And it's extremely hard to find somebody who wants to work. Most people, young people today, all they want to do is come and whenever they want it, so to speak. But you, I told him, you ought to find people persons. You're born with a, you're born with that mentality. You don't get that out of a book. And I said, if you find that person, any young person today knows technology. And in the banking business, technology is the future. And unless you have the adequate technology and the people to perform with that technology, you're going to have a tough, tough road to hold in order to be able to compete with the large, large corporate banks. In our situation here, we have spent dollars on, on technology. We've always been able to compete with the big banks. But you got to have people that can, can perform with it. Yeah, there, Paul. Yeah, it's, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. Is there anything else that, that you would like to say to the, to the YouTube world of, of, about your career in banking? Well, I, I got into the career accidentally. When I graduated from Gustavus in 1954, I got drafted right away in the Korean thing two weeks after I graduated. And when I got out of the service, uh, I came from a non-banking family. And I was with Burroughs, I was selling accounting machines and accounting systems. That's what I majored in, in college in accounting and economics. And uh, I, I saw all of these particularly rural America, I saw all of these small banks with old, older people, managers, owners, and I didn't see any young people. So, you know, and um, I started to look around because with a large corporation, if you're a good salesperson, they either raise your quota or cut your territory, kind of control what you can make. So I started to look around for a bank to go to work. And I never, they said, well, why have you ever worked in a bank? And I said, no. So one night I was in La Crosse, Wisconsin, going out on Monday morning to install an accounting system. And the lights went on and said, you know, I'm going to go to that bank tomorrow. I know more about the accounting system in that bank and the equipment than anybody there. So the next guy asked me if I had any experience, hired me. That's how I got into the banking business. And eventually, uh, Citizens Bank and Wilmer opened up a brand new bank in town. And they, uh, 1965. 1965. So uh, they hired me at the Mary's Bank. And I was there five years and uh, had the opportunity to come, come to the Farmer State Bank in New London, which is now Lake Region Bank. That was 50 years ago today. That's 50 years ago today. Well, then today is a good day to be doing this. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, a wonderful trip. And uh, we've grown from four, 4 million in assets to 132 million. Uh, and it's all been done with excellent employees. Yeah. And well rewarded. I've always taken care of my employees because uh, uh, if I'm going to train them well and pay them, I'm going to pay them well because I don't want my competitor to that. And that would happen if you don't. You know, take pay him. Kind of my philosophy. And my son has carried on that same philosophy. You're only as good as your employees. 
Those are absolutely words to live by. I love that. Um, Paul, thank you so much. It was, it was an honor to speak to you today and to get to know you. Um, and congratulations on just a fantastic career. Um, and it sounds like in life, very well lived. Well, it's been 50 years where I couldn't wait to go to work. Isn't that a, that's a gift. That is a gift. Absolutely. Not many people get to say that.